Hi, everyone. I'm Kat Oriel with Forbes Breaking News. Today, I'm here with Harry Dunn, a former Capitol Police officer who's now running for Congress in Maryland's 3rd District. Harry, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for taking the time. I appreciate you. Of course. So I want to start off with your background. I'm very curious about your background. Why did you want to become a Capitol Police officer? I believe 15 years ago is when you joined the force, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, a, little, a little over 15 years. But, you know, I um, my father was in the Air Force. And he's an Air Force veteran. And um, I think as a child, I had this just instillment to just want to just do what's right, like public service. Um, and also, like, as a, as a young kid, you know, people ask, you know, do you want, I want to be a policeman when I grow up, kind of like the, you know, the childhood innocence kind of thing, because it's cool, but that kind of like stuck with me. Um, and, you know, here I am. So you mentioned public service, but did you ever see yourself getting into politics? What inspired you to join this race? You know, what What better extension of public service, you know, than running for Congress? Your Congress people are supposed to be um, public servants. I think that's a lot of what's wrong in today's politics. A lot of individuals are self-serving instead of serving the people of their communities and the constituents that they, you know, that they're, they're there to represent and to give a voice to. Um, but if you would have asked me, like I said, before January 6th, if I would have been a politician, the answer is maybe, um, or excuse me, not, I don't want to call myself a politician, a, a, a member of Congress, then the answer is maybe. Um, I've always had the desire for public service and, um, you know, being at the Capitol for the last 15 plus years of my life and seeing over thousands of protests, demonstrations, um, issues that individuals across the country bring to their members, um, grievances that they have, uh, it makes you pay attention a little more to what's going on. And, you know, I, I want to be that that vessel, that voice for the people of Maryland's third district to give them a voice in the halls of Congress, um, you know, just be a public servant, continue to serve. But January 6th did happen. And um, I don't have the luxury now to sit back and wait until I fully retire from the job. And I, I don't think we have a, the ability to sit back and wait one more election cycle and see what it's gonna look like there. So with Mr. Um, Sarban not seeking re-election, um, it provided an opportunity to put action towards um, you know, my, my thoughts and, you know, the ideas that I have.